Alright, welcome guys. Um, this time here I said we'd redo this part of the body here. If you can't be bothered with this, um, you can feel free to skip this tutorial. Uh, it's nothing too major. Um, all we're going to be doing is um, creating a sort of rounded shape that's a bit narrower than the body there, uh, with some flat sides on. And I suppose we can put a hole in as well if you have the third wheel out here in front. Um, if you don't have that, he's actually closed up underneath. Um, so let's crack into this. Uh, it's fairly easy to do and we're not going to do anything too flash or fancy. Uh, we'll actually build it all in a new document. So open up a new window here and we'll get into it. Uh, if we remember the body was 600 um, around. Um, so we're going to create a new primitive cylinder at about 575 for the radius. Um, height for 100, we'll adjust that when we get in there. 1 for the height segments and 72 for the rotation segments. That'll give us the same round looking bit as the body head. Um, what we are going to do though is take off the caps here. So just untick that. Just gives us this band around the outside, which is what we're going to work from. Uh, we'll make that editable. Just see on your keyboard again. Um, jump into edge mode. I'm going to loop select the bottom of this. And we'll screw our scale tool and scale that in a bit and move it down a bit. Uh, like so. Um, that there will give us roughly the shape we want. Um, to get the square edges we're going to create a cube. Uh, I'm just going to take it away with a ball. So create a new cube. Uh, I'm jumping the object properties and about 500 on the X I think should be big enough. Maybe a bit more. 1200. See, this doesn't really matter, it's just so long as it's big enough to subtract from the circles. Um, 300. 500. That's plenty big enough. Jump into the front view now. Um, yep, I've built it around the wrong way. Um, if you look at that, 1200 for the Z is probably much easier, so we'll rotate it later. I'm um, supposed to jump into the left hand view and we'll make sure that fits on there. And because I'm not being too flash, I'm just going to line up roughly with that grid line we have there. And we'll just copy and paste that. And move a copy across that same grid line there. And create a ball. Um, stop there. Cylinder, uh, cube. Got those two in the wrong way. Like so. And create another ball. Now, if you jump back to perspective mode, um, should have something like that there. What we're going to do is just create some polygons to go across there. Uh, we have to that, we have to make a ball editable, of course. Jump down and grab our cylinder like so and from here structure we'll create some polygons uh, it totally depends how your cube lines up as to where it subtracted from so just roughly join up the points across here now, so this part here isn't too important, um, especially if you just got the straight up and down R2 without the third leg on them. This, this part here is all in the side of the body covered by his legs. So, it's not a very big important piece. I think it looks a bit neater than what we had originally. So let's create these here. And 
and just like that um, from here we'll close the polygon hole like so um, the shading tag on that actually looks a bit off now that we've got that done so we'll take that down to about 40 which I think is what we had on the body um, so it should keep that all roughly matched up and we can create another hole in here um, for that leg to go up and in um, again it's just a cube so um, I haven't really thought about measuring this at all so I'll do is drag that down let's have a look um, try a 400 by 400 see how that looks Should be good enough. We'll roughly center that under here. Um, probably a bit more towards the front than the back. Um, you can flash all this part up later if you so wish. And we'll just create another ball. Always get that round the wrong way. Our cube and move them up. To there. Um which probably mean it need mean we'll need to extend the leg on our R2 uh, model, but that's not a problem, it's just a quick extrude. Um get onto that in the next tutorial, just tidying that up I suppose. Um so right what we'll do now is just import this into our R2 model, so Control copy on your keyboard, and the way to switch between them is in the window tag here. Just straight down to the bottom and switch over to your R2 model, whatever you've called it. And we'll paste that in. And you can see it's a bit better. Mine's 90 degrees around the wrong way. Um, so just spin that around now. Should be right now, and we'll just go back to our body on the R2 model, and we'll loop select those polygons there, and just grab your live selection, select that one at the bottom, and delete. Um, you can see now we've got a big hole up in here in our model. Um, we can't actually use the close polygon tool to close that. Um, if we do, want to do all sorts of funny things here because we've actually taken away from the bottom here when we made these panels. Um, so let's create a new cylinder. Uh, we'll change the radius of this to 600, which matches our body. Heights are probably around 50. And rotation segments to 72. And grab your move tool and we'll just come down and we'll chuck that roughly into place here. Like so. Right, that ball. Which we can go up and place there. Um, next part of the tutorial, um, we'll just go through and we'll make some little indents in it. So like those there which aren't particularly hard, it's just a little extrude in, we'll just extend that leg up a bit. Uh, if you know how to do that, feel free to skip on and do it. But for those who don't, I'll do that in the next tutorial.